Hi, I'm Lara Srikovsky, makeup artist for Longcom. Today I'm going to show you how to create a classic smoky eye. So I'm just going to start by preparing the eye with the Genifique Light Pearl. Now this is a great product to prepare any eye makeup with because it's the first product you can use in a 360 action around the eye and it's great for just depuffing the eyes before any makeup application. So you can give your eye almost a little bit of a massage with it first to help with any drainage and then just compress that into the skin. But it gives a beautiful radiant base before your eyeshadow application. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of concealer. I know I'm using my, the back of my hand again like a canvas and just look down for me. I'm just applying a little bit of the concealer and almost pressing it into the mobile eyelid to work as a base for our eyeshadow. So this is going to help to create a long wearing effect to all of the eyeshadow. So it's great if you know if you've got to go to work and you need to keep your eyeshadow on for an evening look as well. So I'm going to start with applying a base coat. And I think with um, eyeshadow, it's always important to pick three main colours. So I'm going to start with applying the base coat over the whole mobile eyelid. And I start by applying almost in a pressing motion. So we are we're basically pressing the colour into the concealer. And the reason behind this is so we don't get any fallout underneath the eye and we get great intensity with the colour. So if you notice, I'm starting in the centre of the eye and kind of working my way to the outer corner because I want to have mostly my darker colours into the outer corner of the eye to create more definition and structure to the eye contour. So after every um, stage, I like to make sure that the, the line is almost seamless, so there's no, there's no placement of the eyeshadow. So I like to use a big fluffy brush with no product on it and just work a blending right on the edge of that eyeshadow. And the most important thing to remember when applying your eyeshadow as well is don't be afraid to apply the colour because when you go into blending the eyeshadow you do remove a little bit of the, of the eyeshadow. So I'm now going to apply the highlighter colour and I'm using a nice big fluffy brush for that and just making sure that I'm sweeping a little bit of the product off. And I'm going just underneath the brow to sculpt and highlight this area. And I'm also going to work a little bit of the highlight, just close to me, into the inner corner of the eye. So we're actually pressing this lighter colour over the base colour to give a little bit more of a brightening effect towards the inner corner of the eye. The third colour I'm going to apply is now our darkest shade colour. So I'm actually going to apply this to the outer section of the eye. And a great way to look um, when you're at home, when you're trying to apply the colour, look straight on in the mirror and you can have a look and see where your crease is. And you can just guide the line through the crease and then look down. So just look down for me. And then start blending the colour through the crease of the eye. And this is a great tip for those eye shapes that don't have a deep set crease. You can really find where to put the crease and by using a darker shade, you can give more structure and more definition to this area. So I'm basically working in almost like a V shape. So I'm applying the colour just to the outer section and then bringing it down to the lash line as well. And the great thing about these palettes is you have five colours to work with. So for day wear you could just maybe use say two, three of the colours and then you can really smoke it up and use all five colours for more of a um, dramatic effect for night. So today I'm going to actually demonstrate how to use all of the five colours. So I'm just using again after applying the third step using a brush with no colour and just making sure that I'm softening the edges. So I'm just using little back and forth movements again and just through the edge of the eyeshadow to make sure that we don't blend away the colour, we're just softening, softening the edges of the eyeshadow. And um, when you're doing your eyeshadow, it's always best to avoid going from the outer corner of the eye and to the end of the eyebrow and having that as your, your kind of your zone to not go past because we want to always make sure that the eye is always accelerated so that the eye looks more open and brighter. So I'm going to actually use the darkest shade in the palette as an eyeliner. 
I'm going to use the Genifique Light Pearls. So this is the product we use to prepare the eye with to actually wet the eyeshadow for more intensity. So all of these colours in the palette can actually be used wet or dry. So they use for the day you can use them dry and for night time for more intense colour you can use them um, wet. And I'm just going to start with um, using an angled brush and I'm going to start in the centre of the eye and just using little sweeping motions again to make sure that we can get that perfect line. But towards the outer corner of the eye I'm slightly lifting the eye and going a little bit thicker to give more of a lifted look to the eye area. So as we move to the inner corner of the eye, the eyeliner starts to appear a little bit thinner. And again, just using small motions so we can create that perfect, perfect liner. And just open for me. I'm also using the brush to apply the liner so we can get that more perfected line. And the brush is a lot more um, structured and um, kind of firm, so we can create um, more, of a, more of a sharp line rather than having your eyeshadow brushes where they're a little bit more fluffy like to make the eyeshadow appear softer on the eye. And I'm just bringing the eyeshadow slightly underneath as well and um, almost in, just pressing it into the eye contour and then softening it with my finger. So when you're applying um, eyeliner to the bottom eyelid as well, you just want to make sure that you don't go in too far. So you almost go like three quarters of the way with your eyeliner, so then therefore we're not closing the eye at all. To make the eyes pop even more, I'm actually going to collaborate a bit of a white eyeliner into the inner rim of the eye. Now this eyeliner actually contains um, a blue and a grey base, just look right up to the ceiling for me. So therefore it's not too harsh but it just helps to make the eyes look a little bit brighter by highlighting the inner rim of the eye. So now I'm going to use the fifth colour and I'm going to apply this, just, just look down for me, in the inner corner of the eye to brighten and just look right up to the ceiling. So almost like in a V in the inner corner of the eye. So we have our brighter shades towards the inner corner and then the darker shades towards the outer corner. And by brightening the inner corner of the eye, we create more, um, more structure and definition to the outer corner. I'm also just going to apply, just close to me, a little bit of that um, brighter colour in the inner corner, in the, um, the centre of the eye for a bit of a pop. So it's almost got a little bit of flash of colour in the centre of the eye. And if you ever buy a palette that has almost like a very bright colour, um, you can always use this colour here as your pop colour and place it just in the centre of the eye to give a little bit more um, of a pop. So to finish the eye I'm going to apply the Hypno Star Mascara. Now this mascara is great because it gives you really show stopping lashes. So it's got two applications so I'm actually going to use the flat side of the brush first and I'm just going to hold the mascara wand right at the root of the lash and then lift. And what this does, it helps to kill the lash and this is the first mascara to contain canuba wax, so it actually helps to hold that curl. And now I'm just going to turn the brush over once I'm happy with the curl to now the curved side. And I'm going to use a zigzag motion right at the root of the lash and then comb that out for volume. And the great thing about the Hypnose Mascara is you can really, really layer the mascara up as many times as you like to really create a nice volumised lash without it looking clumpy. And now when I apply the mascara on the bottom, I'm just gently putting a little bit on, just purely to make them look a darker shade, but I don't want them to look much thicker because I, I want the top to be a focus with the eyeliner and the eyeshadow. So I think that three um, key points to remember when doing your eyeshadow is one, to prepare the eye with a long wearing concealer, two, to use your darker shades to the outer corner of the eye and use your lighter and brighter shades as you move towards the inner corner and three, to make sure that you're blending the eyeshadow after each colour is applied.